What's up everybody? Uh, just wanted to say hey, I am getting ready to do a lot of work today. Um, preparing a sermon for Sunday, working on a lock-in all-nighter, then tonight we've got leadership. But I wanted to talk with you about um, three words specifically. The first word is context, the second word is uh, trust, and the third word is community. And so those three words have been on my mind a lot lately, so I wanted to share with you a little bit about that today. But we got a lot to do. I've been thinking a lot about these three words, context, commitment or trust and community and you can't really have commitment or you can't have trust unless you have context most of the time and you can't have community unless you have commitment you see in our church we've been really trying to hammer down on this phrase that is uh, fill the gap with trust fill the gap with commitment like let's just trust each other but the reality is that in our world, in our society, in our culture, we really want context before we're able to commit or to trust to somebody. I'm learning that. I'm learning that in an interesting way. So I'm planning this lock-in and I have students who are coming, but they, they want to come. They want to commit to come, but they also want to know the context. And it totally makes sense. Why would you want to commit to something unless you actually understand the why or the context behind what we're trying to accomplish? You see, most of the time what we want is for people just to trust and to bring on all of the trust that, that we think that we deserve without giving the context ahead of time. And while it is important to fill the gap with trust whenever you actually know the people, it's kind of hard whenever you don't know people to fill the gap with trust. What you're looking for is context. And so as leaders, if we can provide context, then we're going to actually be able to see that people uh, confide or they have confidence or trust in us. And then if they have trust, then we will actually be able to get hopefully to community. We ran out of batteries the other day in our theater with our sound system, all the microphones were kind of like dead on Sunday night. So, got some new rechargeables. I'm gonna go plug them in. Hopefully they work. Let's hope that works. Charge them up. The next day. This is it moment of truth let's see if these batteries actually charged look all green all green lights means we're good to go for sunday i'm going to put one of them in one of these uh microphones and just see if it works Green light, go. So it's important that whenever you check the batteries in the microphone, that you don't leave it on on Thursday all the way until Sunday. So make sure you push the little button. There you have it. Green light off, good batteries. Just want you to know that these videos, I make these things pretty much to give you some context into my life uh, so that you can have a little bit more trust whenever you get to know me and uh, then hopefully we can get to know each other and build some community. Uh, so I think that's important. That's a little bit of what YouTube is for me. So anyway, have a great week. I will see you again probably on Monday with our Sunday summary.